power of being out in the streets is that you know once you're out there for a couple of days even though you think you still belong to that world you're perceiving around you the middle class world of people who wear clothes like you and have a wallet or a purse and credit cards and a car um, you pretty quickly pick up that that world is no longer mirroring affirmation back to you. If anything, you become invisible, which is a very powerful experience, which of course people of color, poor people, uh, women in the workplace, prisoners have been experiencing for a long time. It's a very powerful dehumanizing experience. And so for people to get that is very powerful. Or you're actually getting very derisive energy coming at you from people. So your reference points about who you are and where you fit in the world dissolve very quickly and it leaves you in a place where, you know, the kind of old spiritual expression of the scales fall off your eyes and you're just there getting raw, naked data. We use three principles in our work called not knowing, bearing witness, and healing or loving action or compassionate action. Not knowing is, is getting out of our conditioned mind, getting out of our preconceptions, our biases, our opinions, our conditioning. I think this is the goal of all spiritual practices. Some take quite a long to do that, quite a long time. The plunges put you into that place very quickly. And then the practice is once there to actually stay, hold your seat and bear witness and actually expose yourself to the real data that's there. In our experience and really the experience of peacemakers throughout time has been that if you can do those first two, we get in touch with the natural wisdom of the world, the natural wisdom in ourselves and others and situations. And we can respond appropriately with uh, what ends up being very sustainable kinds of compassionate action.